Sebenarnya orang Kristian banyak dia tahu tentang Trinity tak ada, tentang Jesus is not God. Dia orang tahu. Tetapi kenapa mereka masih kekal Kristian? I try to use proper words. Okay? Kita sebagai Muslim, kita kena faham realiti bahawa ada orang perlu perpenampilan dan berketerampilan so and so dengan sekian-sekian cara atas nama survivor hidup. Atas nama survivor hidup. Berap, orang Kristian, dia tahu je. Sebenarnya orang Kristian banyak dia tahu. Tentang Trinity tak ada, tentang Jesus is not God. Dia orang tahu. Tetapi, kenapa mereka masih kekal Kristian? Sebab, when you reach a certain status, you nak tinggalkan jawatan you. Despite having such based scriptures and belief systems, why do so many people still continue to follow Christianity? Well, that's easy because they have no idea that this is a problem. Many Christians are educated people. They might have a degree in chemistry, accountancy, media studies, whatever, you know? They're not stupid, far from it. But the way the churches teach the faith to them, they don't teach them an advanced understanding of their own scriptures. Now, the priests and pastors and ministers who teach them or preach at them are trained in universities. They know, say, the Gospel of John is the least historical of the four Gospels. They know that because they've been taught it. So how come the people in the pew don't know? And many reasons have been given. Bart Ehrman, the American academic, has, has discussed this. Some priests don't want to lose their jobs. They don't want to teach their faithful. By the way, your Bible is not as what you might think it is. Or they don't want to upset their Christian people. They don't want to disturb them. Or maybe they don't know how to communicate it. Or maybe they're just running away. But whatever the reason is, they're not doing it usually at all. So for me, this is the scandal of Christianity. Or maybe they do know, but and they live in this kind of, like I did as a Christian for a long time, this kind of, you believe, but you have big doubts. And you just carry on anyway, because what else is there to do? Sebab Allah kata kan, surat Taubah surat ke-9 ayat 24 kan, Kul inkana aba ukum wa abna ukum wa ikwan ukum wa azaw jukum. Hingga akhir ayat kan. Katakanlah jika kalau ibu bapa kamu, anak kamu, sanak saudara kamu, harta kamu dan sebagainya, semua ini. Lebih kamu cintai berbanding dengan Allah dan Rasul, maksudnya, kamu tak sanggup nak berhijrah kepada kebenaran kerana asbab cinta pada harta, takut family, takut anak, takut hilang ni, takut hilang tu. Allah kata, Fatara basu, kamu tunggu. Benda tu ada dalam Kristian, benda tu juga ada dalam Islam. Selagi mana dia adalah manusia, dia ada. So, saya punya konsep adalah, realign balik cara kita expectation pada agama kita supaya kita tak jadi meluat dan give up dengan agama itu je <Sess>